Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Thanks for uh, thanks for being here tonight. And before I go any further, I'd just like to take a moment to acknowledge the fact that we're on traditional uh, land, to the unceded traditional land of the Mi'kmaq people, and we're uh, assembled here tonight in the spirit of uh, respect and uh, friendship. So thank you very much. Well, uh, also, I want to take a moment to introduce somebody. <laughs> uh, I'd, like, uh, I'd like you all to uh, maybe a good round of applause to our veteran, Mr. Phil Doddridge, who's here this evening. Canada 
work in the uh, Royal Rifles. I'll just like write quickly there. Essentially, uh, the Sea Force, the force that we sent to Hong Kong, was essentially made up half and half there. Uh, Royal Rifles, who were based out of Quebec City, Royal Rifles of Canada, and the Winnipeg Grenadiers. And like I said tonight, for the purposes of this, we're going to focus mostly on the uh, Royal Rifles. So the Price Brothers, war, uh, war breaks out, so they decide, okay, well, we're going to uh, do our part. So they uh, basically lead the effort for the Royal Rifles, and they set out on to first thing, order of business was we need people, so they start recruiting. This is the uh, the uh, logo, that's not the right word, logo. Cat badge. Cat badge, yeah. <laughs> See? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it won't be the last time you have Steve with me. Uh, so, first order of business for them was to uh, start recruiting. So, it didn't take them very long to end up in this neck of the woods, the Gas Bay Coast. They arrived, uh, the, the, the recruiting team, or teams, if you will, arrived here in the summer of 1940. So basically when I showed the picture of Hitler in Paris, in the weeks that followed, uh, the Royal Rifles had a, a recruiting drive in full force in this area. That's, uh, some of you may have seen this poster before. It's, uh, and this poster would have been essentially plastered uh, all over the place there, all the public places. As far as as far as New Richmond goes, it was in the front window of the Cascapedia Hotel. Uh, they, they set up shop there. 203 Gaspesians were recruited by the Royal Rifles of Canada. They were English, French, and Mi'kmaq. And at least 200 were recruited in New Brunswick as well. So, uh, a big chunk, practically half of the Royal Rifles were from the Gaspé Coast and the Maritimes. Uh, 200 from New Brunswick and the numbers are uh, for Nova Scotia it was? 46 and 4 from PEI. 4 from PEI. And I, I, I just realized I should have introduced you, but uh, I'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> So they arrive here in uh, they arrive in this area. The recruiters, the recruiters arrive here in this area in the summer, early summer of 1940, and uh, they start hitting places like Man Settlement, Matapedia, and all through here, and of course on this side of, of the river as well. And uh, just to give you an idea of the intensity of the recruiting, that's the list, except except the bottom one. There. That's the list. Of, just mans. Oh, sorry. You were, I heard somebody. Were you, I'm not sure if you were done going through the list. And Irvine. So entire families, and and we'll see here too that uh, some of the regimental numbers are well, not some of them. All of them are fairly close. There. You know, like uh, that one and that one. So you can see a scenario where 30001 would hand the pen over to 3002. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and that, that was uh, uh, the, because they did the regimental numbers consecutively, you know, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, Pat Metallic from uh, Listagush. Brent Metallic. So she was in D Company. This is the same company you were in. So, uh, recruiting, recruiting happens, summer 1940. They end up in Valcarci. They do a, a, quite a bit of their training in Valcarci. And I'm going to go through the next year or so fairly quickly. Uh, they, they trained in uh, Sussex, New Brunswick. Then they went to uh, Newfoundland. They were in places like Gander, St. John's, Botwood, and uh, so there's that's actually a D Company. There's a lot of guys in there that uh, that uh, my dad's in there. Which one's your dad? My dad is second from the left from the top. Second from the left. On Sorry. The top. Down, left, yeah. right. no, down, no, second down. Oh, there you go. Don't, yeah. Over on the left, over left, one more. Last one, on, last, last one, one in the second last row. Is 
Okay, okay. that's what you have. <laughs> and who and who is your dad? That's Clem Blackyear, I believe. Clem Blackyear? Clem Blackyear. Looks like a man Blackyear. Yeah. He's got a rise out of Mr. Phil. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well there you go. So uh, sure. and this is yeah, uh, no, <laughs> this is one of the French books. Charlie. 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 So, we go, Val Cartier, uh, Sussex, New Brunswick, Newfoundland. While we're in Newfoundland, they pick up a, and this is gonna be a, be a test on this later. <laughs> when, they're in, when they're in Newfoundland, they pick up a mascot, uh, a dog, and uh, they give him the appropriate name of Gander. Gander, uh, Gander the dog. So Gander became the uh, mascot of the Royal Rifles of Canada. And as you're gonna see in a minute, he, he'll come back in the story a little later. This is, uh, so, like I said, the Brunswick, Valcarci, Newfoundland, all that. In the fall of 1941, 1941, the boys were sent on leave. And uh, not, quite sh not quite sure what, what's, what's up with that. So they go on leave, and these, this is a group from, this is a group from Cascapedia. And this is a group from Richmond. They're finished their leave. They're uh, hopping aboard the train and they're going back to Valcarci. Uh, the young fellow here is Mr. Phil. Yeah. <laughs> so, and the, uh, to, make, to, to make a long story just a, a little shorter, they end up uh, boarding a train, and they cross Canada, all the way to Vancouver. Now, this is pretty heavy stuff to, for somebody who, uh, remember, like most of these guys, well, not most of them, all of them are young, uh, not necessarily well-traveled back then in the 1940s. Uh, so, so this would have been, this would have been quite, the, uh, quite the experience, traveling across country. And keep in mind, they don't know where they're going. They don't know where they're going. Once they get there, they're uh, they're boarded upon. Uh, they're boarded on essentially mostly in one ship. I'll talk about the other one in a second. Uh, the uh, Awatia, which was a New Zealand ship, uh, which before the war it had been used to do. Uh, it was a, essentially a ferry between Australia and New Zealand. So uh, uh, they were boarded up, uh, on the uh, Awatia minus Sea Company. Royal Rifles minus C Company. Gander is with C Company. So Gander is not on this boat, it's uh, not a ship, not a boat, it's a ship, a different, a different ship. Uh, so they're boarded upon uh, on the uh, Awatia, A-W-A-T-E-A, -E and they leave Vancouver. And I believe that is Vancouver. It is, yeah. It looks a little bit like they're all talking. Right? They're all calling Canadians. <laughs> And uh, C Company is uh, aboard the uh, HMCS Prince Robert. I like the way Mr. Phil is hanging. He's, he's waiting for me to make a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, they, they were awarded upon, upon the HMCS Prince Robert, C Company uh, of the Royal Rifles of Canada and Gander. Just a, a quick thing about companies. So Royal Rifles is, is essentially a battalion. It's a battalion of strength. It's, some people call it a regiment, but it's, it's the, the size of a, of a battalion. And there are five companies. A company, B company, C company, D company, and headquarters company. Five companies. Each company is roughly, well, after some, somewhere in the neighborhood of 150-ish more or less. So they leave, uh, they leave Canada and head to Honolulu, which sounds like a pretty good, at this point, they still don't know where they're going. Uh, but it sounds like a pretty good deal, you want to Honolulu. Uh, and there's the, that's the LT there, and uh, you'll notice, right? You can't really tell on the picture, but it has guns on it now. It's, it's an actual military uh, ship. So to speak, uh, but they get to Honolulu, they won't even let them off the ship. Yeah. So these guys, 
So they're, 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 they've crossed, I don't know how many days it took, from uh, Vancouver to Honolulu. You figure, okay, let, let them get off, you know, enjoy a bit of it. No, no. They, they had to stay on, on ship.